chapter of your book are you on? What chapter of your book are you currently writing right now? Because you see, every single one of us right now, we are on a certain chapter of our life. We're in a certain chapter of our book. And the way I see my life today is every single day, we're writing our book. We're writing down those challenges. We're writing down the obstacles. We're writing down the wins, the celebrations, the good, the bad, the ugly, the nasty, the you know, happiness, the sadness. We're writing all the emotions and everything that we're going through every single day. And the universe has a beautiful way. And as I always like to say, the master plan has no flaws. So this reminder is to just consciously get you to have the attention with me for a couple of minutes to remember that you are writing your book, that you're writing your story, that every day your story is different and you don't have to compare your stories to others. You don't have to compare your story with anybody else because you and your story is unique. You're on your own path. You're on your own mission. You're doing your own thing and you are going to manifest whatever is in your mind into your reality. And the master plan has no flaws. Whatever is meant to be is going to be and whatever has happened was supposed to happen and whatever is going to happen is going to happen we have to surrender we have to just trust the process we have to trust that the master plan knows exactly what we are going to be doing in the future and it knows the decisions and the actions and the choices that we make right now our job is to keep writing our job is to constantly keep writing the story and every chapter is where you pause. The pause can be the pauses that you take in your life to reflect and introspect. The pauses that you take out for self-care. The pauses that you take out for mindful moments out of your days. The breaks that you take. The times you need to sleep. The rest. All of that recovery and that rest time is like the end of every chapter. You pause, you take a little break and you come back and you start writing the next chapter, right? So your life is a book, our life is a story and every single day we're writing that story. So don't ever think that you're alone. Don't ever think that you're the only one going through challenges. Don't ever think that you're the only one going through tough times. Every single person out there is writing their book and is going through 10 times worse things than you are potentially right now. But as long as you don't compare yourself to everybody else and you constantly keep writing your book, stay focused on yourself and what you need to do and what you want to do in the world, that's what you need to really do, right? There's nothing else you can do. You can't go and start writing a chapter in someone else's book, right? Unless you're collaborating and you're co-creating a book with someone, then it's a collective collaboration. Then you're supporting each other to write each other's book. You're co-creating and you're collaborating to do something magnificent with, you know, two brains and with two people and two minds that are like-minded that are going to write something meaningful for someone to read. But just remember that you are always writing your book and never ever feel like you don't have anything figured out because all of us go through those tough times all of us sometimes feel like life is falling apart but when you remember that i am writing my book i am on this chapter of my book and i can't wait to get past this chapter so i can get to this next exciting big adventurous chapter of my life so remember that you are writing your book how does it look how are people going to feel when they read your book always always focus on your book and what you want to do because this is your life not someone else's